What's up, YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, MarketingMeatHead.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about some Facebook tips, and I'm also going to tell you about being a shark in 2020 for the rest of the year. All right, so uh, let's do a quick campaign check-in. We've had a pretty good uh, week going on, even with the 4th of July. Typically, uh, these are not big weeks for affiliates. Um, the summer months of June, July, and even into August can sometimes be a little... Uh, subpar when it comes to the traffic uh, due to the amount of people that are just online. In general, they're out doing other stuff in the Northern Hemisphere of the United States and Canada. It's a summer month. People are doing you know, vacations, camping, fishing, uh, you name it. So, um, you know, basically, uh, we're still doing pretty darn good. Okay, so uh, campaign one, the big one here, we're still doing anywhere from like 4,500 to uh, around 7,500 a day. Uh, profit margins are pretty good. We're somewhere in the neighborhood of about 1,000 uh, to 2,000 dollars a day, uh, depending on you know how well the email and stuff we do. Uh, but the, the traffic's still profitable. Okay, so that's a really good sign. Uh, the campaign that I'm running is. Uh, is doing pretty well as well. Uh, this past week, we did about $3,500 in profit, uh, brought me up to um, uh, 1860 was just today's numbers, and today was about $350 in profit. Yesterday, I actually lost a little bit of money. I was running some tests, and uh, that'll be part of the tips that I share in the end of this video. Um, but I did uh, have a pretty good, um, Good day today. I think I'm at about 350 profit. There's still a little bit of time left in the day. Uh, hopefully, I get a, another conversion or two via my retargeting, and um, you know, hopefully, so end up somewhere around 400 dollars. Uh, but again, we ended up at uh, 3,500 for the week. I'm just about at 20k for the uh, campaign since I started, and uh, pretty darn good. Okay, uh, we have another one here that looks like it's showing some promise. Uh, we're finally getting over some of the hurdles we've been having with Facebook and getting ads approved. Uh, there's been some kind of a bot issue, but uh, yesterday we set up some ads. They got approved fairly quickly no issues. Um, so this campaign is showing some life as well. Uh, this is one of the campaigns we kind of had set up for um, the new course, the DES course that's going to be coming up here. And uh, this campaign is at about $500 profit per day. Okay. Um, we're doing anywhere from, you know, 200 to a thousand bucks a day roughly and uh, it's averaging between like two and five hundred dollars a day uh, but it's been consistently closer to the five hundred dollar mark now for about a week okay so that's a good sign um, we do have another campaign that we are setting up for the des course and uh, today it was at 800 percent roi now i don't know if that's just a fluke or um, if, if we really hit something here we're gonna have to see uh, once we scale it up a little bit um, generally when you hit something like that it's out the gate it's a pretty good sign and uh, things we're kind of excited about it but uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to hold, okay? When you start putting some real traffic into this thing, uh, it, the ROI is definitely going to go down. Uh, it's just how much, okay? So that's a good sign, all right? So if you guys are, are interested in uh, learning some of these campaigns and some of the tactics we're using to uh, consistently right now, we're, we're consistently hitting some good campaigns. Uh, we've got four that are profitable every day. Uh, we got a fourth, um, actually three that are profitable every day. The fourth one we just hit today, uh, we think it's going to be a winner. And, um, you know, we have a system in place, okay? We do this over and over again. The system works. And uh, step by step, I'm putting together a course called the Digital Entrepreneur System. And uh, down below, I'm going to put a link. And if you're interested in getting uh, getting that course when it first comes out, it's probably going to be sometime uh, near the end of the month, first week of uh, August when I'm done with it. And um, this is going to teach you step by step. It's going to be an eight-week program. Uh, we're going to be there for you guys to... Um, you know, myself, Mark, and Ross, uh, we're going to be there. We're going to have a group. And uh, if you guys have questions, we'll be able to answer your questions. And, but we're going to give you guys like some, uh, you know, proven winning campaigns. Okay. So we're going to show you guys what we're doing, how we're doing it, and kind of give you all the, all the keys uh, to the castle. And you guys can go out and set these things up and start making money right away. Okay. The goal with the course is to create a whole nother business. And the fastest way for us to grow that business is to get some of you guys who are watching this video right now, some success. And if you guys get some success, you'll give us a testimonial. We can use those testimonials to grow the business even more. And it's just a win-win for everybody. Okay. So that's a whole nother business we're starting. Um, I've been working on this course, just so you guys know, for almost three months. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in this course. It's very intensive. Um, I, I know for a fact, because I have everybody else's course that's on the market right now. And uh, this course is better than all of them. Okay, way better. Okay, it's going to be the best course on the market. We actually run traffic. You see the numbers, and we're legit. Okay, so um, this past week I kind of took a week off. It's the middle of summer, and I didn't want to kind of talk about that uh, for uh, just a minute. Okay, and uh, you saw the intro to the video. Uh, you know, I had a nice half million dollar a year company rolling, and uh, got got cut off like a buzz saw in uh, the first week of March. Okay, uh, my entire business evaporated. In fact, I've had zero revenue in that business since. Uh, the second week of March. Okay, so I went from doing a half million dollars a year in revenue to zero. 
Okay, it's literally zero. I have zero revenue. My business is gone. Okay, it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, you know, I still have websites. I still get traffic. People are still calling us, asking us questions. But the kind of people that are asking us questions are, you know, people that are looking for cheap flights and cheap hotels, and they're not our ideal customers. Okay, so we have zero revenue. That business is basically done. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, the Palms in Las Vegas, it's a big hotel here. They're actually saying they're not going to open up till June of 2021. Okay, so in reality, I don't think that business is going to come back till 2021. If um, And then if it comes back, I don't know how strong. Okay, so potentially uh, until this, this Rona virus uh, is gone, then, you know, we're going to not have... Um, you know, not have that business, okay? Because nightclubs and the illness do not mix, okay? They just don't. There's no such thing as social distancing in a nightclub and a pool party with DJs and whatnot, and that's the business I'm in. And uh, unfortunately, we're gone, okay? It's gone. Bye-bye, goodbye. It's gone for the rest of uh, 2020 and probably even into 2021. Uh, so it's time to get serious about the course and the affiliate campaigns we're running. Um, not that I haven't been serious, but I, you know, I just started running these campaigns around the first week of... Uh, uh, around mid-May, I started getting in, into the affiliate stuff again. Uh, normally, just so you guys know, if you haven't seen this channel before, uh, I do run affiliate marketing campaigns, but typically, personally, I run them in the winter months when Vegas is slow, and usually the affiliate traffic is the best in the winter months in the North America, so that's the best time to run the campaigns anyway. And uh, I'm a two-time ClickBank Platinum affiliate, 2020 and 2019, and uh, you know, I had to uh, had to revert back to my uh, wintertime uh, gig uh, this year because of the uh, the illness. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. And um, you know, I wanted to have a little bit of fun this summer, so I did plan a trip to Miami over the fourth. Normally, I do Chicago, but uh, the boat scene is messed up there. They're not letting the boats tie up. And uh, in Miami, I had a buddy who owned a boat. Um, I went online, I found a pretty good fishing charter, and um, ended up having some fun. Okay, I went down to uh, what most people would consider a uh, Rona hotspot, uh, Miami. I'm pretty sure I didn't contract it, but who knows. Uh, I wasn't around a ton of people, just you know, some personal friends and whatnot, and we had a great time. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna roll the clip here real quick um, for the um, the deep sea fishing trip we went on, and uh, you know, this this kind of goes to show that you know, even with uh, you know what I would say is probably a difficult time when my my main business got eliminated from the map, and we're still able to take uh, the affiliate marketing business and make enough money where I can go on a trip like this. Okay, don't get me wrong, renting a charter boat, taking it out to the middle of the ocean. Catching fish all day is not cheap, okay? And in order to be able to do that, you have to have some kind of income coming in. And I was still able to do that with this business, okay? So uh, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a lot of work. It, you know, it takes a little bit of skill and knowledge to get set up on these these campaigns and to get them to go right um, campaign after campaign. But, um, you know, I want to show a little bit of fun on this video. It is mid-July, and uh, sitting in front of the computer all day is not fun, but this was fun. So let's roll the clip. Be right back. guys enjoyed that you can see uh, I caught a hammerhead shark which was pretty cool and uh, you know that's kind of the theme of this video you know being a shark for the rest of 2000 uh, 
20, and we'll talk more about that in a second here. Uh, my buddy caught a, um, an African pompano, which is a very rare fish, apparently, according to the uh, captain. In fact, he, the captain even took a picture with, uh, of that fish with his uh, son. I guess that was a big, big African pompano. Uh, we caught a lot of mahi-mahi. I think we caught mahi-mahi like four or five different occasions. So they were running like crazy smaller fish, but they were a lot of fun to catch. You catch like four or five of them at once. So um, it's pretty cool. We end up throwing most of them back because they weren't big enough to keep. But um, definitely a great, uh, a great experience. And uh, something that I was, um, you know, really, um, you know, blessed to be able to enjoy, uh, especially in a summer like what we're dealing with right now. So uh, that was really cool. And, um, you know, another thing I did is I rented a, a party boat. Actually, this is a buddy of mine that owned this boat and uh, took out a bunch of girls. And we went out on um, the 5th, on the Sunday after the 4th. And I just want to cruise a little bit around Miami, uh, partied on the boat, went and had dinner on the boat. And uh, that was a really good experience, too. This is another, you know, kind of a luxury type of thing, renting a boat for an afternoon. I used to own a boat, so I know how much they cost. But nowadays, I just rent. And um, you know, I'm going to roll this clip, and you can see we had a little bit of fun here, too. So yeah, you can see, uh, you know, we had some fun girls on there. We had a pretty good time, got pretty lit up. Uh, my one buddy, he doesn't even remember going to dinner. So uh, definitely had a good time. But, um, you know, let, let's talk for a minute about, uh, you know, being being a shark. Okay, I caught a shark, ironically, on the, on the fishing boat. And uh, talk about being a shark here. And being a shark in, in today's world is being able to pivot in, in a hurry. Okay. And... Um, you know, I have skills. I, you know, I have a, a very long relationship with the nightclub business. I've been in that business for 20 years. But, uh, you know, I started uh, learning some new skills about five, six years ago. I started learning affiliate marketing. Um, I wasn't particularly good at it in the beginning, but I got good at it over time and I stuck with it. And I always used that as my uh, supplemental income in the uh, off season. So, you know, when the other business decided to, um, you know, disappear or evaporate, I like to say, uh, I was able to take the affiliate marketing business and turn it into a, um, you know, a legit, legit business. Right now we have three campaigns. Okay. And uh, every day we're making money. Okay. Consistently. I think today we brought in, today wasn't a particularly great day. I think we brought in about a thousand profit total, but uh, it's Friday in July. I mean, a thousand bucks is a thousand bucks. Okay. I don't care where you look at it. It's still not bad. Um, but you know, we like to see those days around like 1500 two grand consistently and um, you know again we launched another funnel today and it, was, it seems like it's gonna be a big hit and uh, the system works okay and you know I want you guys to think about the rest of this year and you know what has happened with um, you know this year so far okay you know it's been four months since the, um, the illness evaporated my business and uh, I'm doing okay okay you know, I'm doing pretty good I'm not I'm not having as much fun uh, I don't think anybody's having as much fun as they were before the old uh, Roni hit but uh, you know we're still you know we're still making money okay and that's a key so you got to be able to pivot to something online um, when you know when things don't go your way okay because right now uh, you know e-commerce uh, affiliate marketing uh, even Amazon, all those businesses are booming. You can look at the stocks. You can, you know, people are buying stuff online more and more. They don't want to go into stores. They don't want to be around people. And uh, the, people are going to like, they're going to change their ways. Okay. And I think pretty much you guys have noticed that the, um, you know, Walmart's coming out with their own Amazon Prime called Walmart Plus. Uh, you can actually become a seller for that. Uh, there's so many different ways nowadays to make money, and I'm not sitting there saying my way is the best way as far as affiliate marketing goes, but it's definitely a, an option, okay? But either way, you need to come up with a side hustle. You need to have something uh, that's going to... You know that's going to be kind of the gap filler if you know you lose your job or if things change again. Um, so you know, I highly recommend you know getting skills online. I'm not saying go and buy my course at the end of this month when it comes out. You know, if you want to, great. If if not, there's a lot of other ways. You know, I'm sure this whole uh, Walmart Walmart Plus thing is going to become like a, the next Amazon, and that's a big opportunity there. My guess, okay. Uh, personally, I didn't like Amazon FBA. I tried it for a while. I had four products up at one time, and I have a product still up on uh, eBay right now. And uh, so, you know, I've, I've done the Shopify thing. I don't, I don't like dealing with the customer service. Uh, I don't like putting out big big amounts of money for a product you don't know if it's going to sell. Um, you have to deal with bullshit 
uh, fake reviews and, and then Amazon's terrible uh, seller customer service. There's a lot of crap you got to deal with. With that. Any business has some crap, okay? Don't get me wrong. It's not, nothing's perfect. But at the end of the day, once you have the skills, you can take those skills and you can pivot them into other stuff, okay? You, you know, maybe you learn affiliate marketing and then down the road you end up becoming a media buyer for a big corporation, okay? That's something you could do. Or you come up with your own idea for a product or service and you use your media buying skills to run traffic for that offer. Okay, there's so many things you can do. Okay, but the key is that you got to take the rest of this year and devote like six months to learn. Okay, uh, my program's eight weeks, but if you're new, it's not going to take you eight weeks to learn this. It's probably going to take you six months to learn it. Okay, I'm going to give you all the stuff you need to know, but then you got to remember how to do everything, and then you got to apply it. Okay, so there's there's time involved. All right, and it's going to be the same with any business. Okay, there's going to be some time involved to learn it. Then there's going to be some time involved to execute it, and then there's going to be some time involved to actually get good at it. Okay, and that's kind of where we're at with the affiliate marketing stuff. We've learned it, we know how to do it, and we're good at it. And uh, that didn't happen overnight. Okay, so keep that in mind. So you know, my my main pur purpose of this video was to show a little bit of having fun, uh, giving you guys some. You know, valuable knowledge going into the rest of this year. Uh, we do have a basically six months left of this year to to make something happen. Okay, and um, and if you guys stuck around to the end here, I told you I was going to give you a little Facebook tip. And uh, my Facebook tip for this week is the um, we've noticed that uh, instead of putting the campaigns down to like two dollars when we want to turn them off, uh, we actually turn them off now and we turn them back on at midnight. Okay, and that has actually been improving our. Um, delivery time, meaning that they start delivering earlier in the morning. And uh, we've actually been able to see a more consistent profit by turning the campaigns on earlier in the, uh, you know, turning the campaigns off when we're done with them and then turning them on instead of putting the, like, the budget down to a dollar or two dollars and kind of leaving them on. Okay. So that's the big tip for the uh, this week that we've actually tested and uh, it's actually working for us. Uh, we've had actually more consistent uh, traffic earlier in the morning when we want it and uh, it's been more profitable. And so it's nice. I've been waking up to, uh, you know, a decent amount of profit every day. Uh, aside from yesterday, yesterday was kind of a stinker, but uh, today was solid and uh all the six days prior to this uh, day, even when I was in Miami and, and Ross ran my campaign, um, was profitable. So uh, that's the big tip for you guys for today. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the fishing trip and the uh, the little boat fun with the girls. And uh, try to make a little, have a little fun on this channel as well. This has kind of been kind of a, a lost year in my opinion in, in terms of having fun. I was kind of, I, you know, normal summer I'd be doing that kind of stuff every weekend. But, um, you know, you're, uh, if you're watching this video, it's, uh, you're, you're likely following me because you're into affiliate marketing and it's kind of a, your gain here because now I'm actually working on affiliate marketing uh, seven days a week aside from my last little uh, week long vacation but the next uh, the next six months I'm gonna buckle down I'm gonna get DES done and I'm gonna be there for the students to get them profitable and uh, we're gonna take DES to the next level it's gonna be the next big thing uh, when it comes to courses and uh, hopefully you guys um, out there are, are gonna jump into this course I'm gonna just so you guys know um, so you can save up a little bit I'm gonna offer the course for half of what I'm gonna sell it for just for the first weekend I put it on sale the first weekend I put it on sale it's gonna be half price uh, probably going to do it at 9.97, and uh, after that weekend is gone, I'm going to put it up to 19.97, and that's where it's going to stay. Okay, uh, I may do 14.97 with an upsell, but uh, I'll give you everything for the 9.97 in that first weekend, and um, that's going to be um, your opportunity to jump in and get in on the ground floor when we're actually like just finishing up the course. We have campaigns that are live that we're going to be putting in the course that actually work, and uh, hopefully you guys are excited about that. So make sure you sign up for that link below. Uh, hopefully you got some value out of today's video with the tips and I had a little bit of fun with the fishing and the boat trip and uh, make sure you leave me a like on this video share it with your friend if you found it valuable uh, subscribe bang that notifications bell I am the marketing meathead we'll talk to you later thank you